Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. It's the 10th of August and I'm out foraging again. And I found a, a lovely mushroom to show you, a really beautiful mushroom, but not one for the beginner forager. Come on down here, Attila, let's have a look. Here we have the orange grisette, which is one of the Amanitas. Let's see if I can uncover those egg sacs. There you are. Don't know how good a shot you can get of those, but there's the egg sac that all Amanitas grow from. You'll see a slightly orangey stem in the shot there as well. Um, that's one of the clues that you've got the uh, orange grisette. The next clue is that there is no sign of a skirt on the stem. which uh, is uh, an encouraging sign because this is in the same family, the same genus as the death cap mushroom. Now, I just happen to have a death cap mushroom here to show you the differences between this and the death, death cap. So here's our death cap, looking a bit worse for wear, but quite similar. Grows from exactly the same sort of egg sac. It doesn't have the same orangey stem but more importantly, it has a skirt on the stem as well. That's a key difference. Now the grisettes are a whole uh, group of the Amanitas that are all edible. Um, there's um, debates about the snakeskin grisette, but apparently they're all edible, the grisette. Um, they're a group of the Amanitas that have no skirt on the stem. Um, so if you've got a mushroom growing from an egg sac, like this death cap here with a skirt on the stem, it's not one of the grisettes. And that's a, a good thing because the grisettes, as I say, are edible, but the death cap is not the only deadly poisonous mushroom in the skirted side of the Amanita genus. Um, you might well have already heard of the destroying angel. I did a video on that one the other day. Now, this orange grisette along with the other grisettes is an edible mushroom, but it really isn't one for the novice forager. The cap color is quite different here, but the cap color on uh, a, an Amanita phylloides, a death cap is very variable. They go from uh, white to yellowish to greeny brown to almost brownish. You can see here as they get very old. Uh, I am a bit colorblind, so I might not be describing that perfectly to uh, exactly what you guys will see, but it's very variable which means it can look a little bit like this colour. So, the uh, orange grisette, a beautiful mushroom. But I've got to show you this. There's one more here, uh, Titler, which is uh, even more beautiful than these. So follow me, have a look this way. Come on under here, underneath these birch trees. Birch trees are the habitat or the, the preferred habitat for your orange grisette. Wow! <laughs> it's a beast! This has got to be one of the biggest, or probably for me, the biggest orange grisette I have ever seen. So I'm going to do one of my normal little competitions at the end of this <laughs> little video. Um, look at that skirt. So, oh, sorry, look at that vulva. The, the vulval remains, the cup, so pronounced. Now on this one, the ID features are even more clear because on the inside of the cup of the orange grisette, you start to get a bit of oranging. And the outside of the cup should be nice and white. Those are two little clues as to which one of the grisettes it's going to be. But that is, uh, I think, the biggest I've ever seen, Attila. Is that the biggest orange grisette you've ever seen? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay. In that case, we'll do the competition now. I've got my 10 centimetre ruler here. Let's see how tall this one is, because that's one thing. I'll go down to where the uh, stipe, where the stem starts. I won't dig the egg out, but we've got 10. 15 centimetres tall and almost exactly 10 centimetres in diameter. A true behemoth 
of an orange rosette and uh, one that's really made me smile. Um, so the competition is if uh, any of you guys can send me a photo of an orange grisette bigger than this by the end of September 2023 to um, admin at wildfooduk.com I'll send you a free one of our books. Um, so yeah, there you go, little challenge for you. Get out in the open air, look under birch trees and see if you can find an orange grisette bigger than 15 centimetres tall and 10 centimetres in diameter of the cap. Beautiful mushrooms. Um, I really have to reiterate though, I do not recommend these for the beginner forager, for the novice forager or anyone who is not 100% sure of what they're doing. Uh, they are a, a pretty good edible as far as I'm concerned, but I've been foraging for mushrooms for 30 years and I've got a trained mycologist with me. If you guys don't know what you're doing, leave the grisettes behind, full stop. That skirt that I showed you is one of, one of the key features, um, uh, uh, key differentiating features between the grisettes and the nastier amanitas. That skirt is is quite loosely attached and it can come off so uh, sometimes those poisonous amin eaters can have no skirt on them whatsoever you have to be totally sure of what you're doing if you're going to forage from this family uh, so come on a course with wild food uk and we'll teach you uh, and if you want to find out more go to wildfooduk.com mm -hmm.